beds and tracks on top of the oldest snow. Ooh, look at that little sharp tooth back in. Back in the backpack. Oh. He's, he's pretty nice bull actually. Holy cow, that face is bloody red. Woo. So that's that's that bull this year and last year. He grew uh, quite a bit. Hey guys, welcome back to another Shed Tour episode. We're back at it again. If you, if you watched yesterday's video, you saw that we got snowed out pretty bad. And as you can see out the window, there's still a lot of wet snow. And the forecast calls for about 60 degrees today of a high. So it's gonna be a wet one, regardless of snow or not. It's just gonna be soaking wet and muddy everywhere we go. But uh, same plan as yesterday. We will have, you know, most all day to, to hit it. It's about 9.30 a.m. now. We lost a little bit of daylight, but we wanted to let it warm up a little bit. Anyways, let's go find some elk sheds. Have a good day and bring you guys with us. Well, a little bit of an issue here. You see that window in the back? <laughs> Four-wheeler just about bounced through my window. <laughs> oh, it's funny because the rail was only hitting the truck bed, but we hit a pretty good bump. Going down I think hill. it got airborne going downhill and pushed it right into that window. So Gosh, dang it. we're going to check out the damages. Woohoo! I mean, you can see there's room there, but when it bumped and caught air, it went all the way in. We should grab these tie downs and just pull it back for now. <laughs> That's all right. We'll fix it up. We need that glass to fall away So I've got a Tupperware top to block the, the glass from coming in and I just have to push it out and Try to get it into the truck bed sure those, huh? using these big old mittens for protection Works pretty good yeah, I like busted the whole like plastic around it. We're leaving camp soon. We got the tents popped up. The quads unloaded. We got all the snacks. I have a lot more of my warm clothing. I'm not, not taking any chance today. So we got the puffy coat, gloves. We got a backup beanie, net gator. It's like not even half as cold and I'm all like not <laughs> taking chances. So we got a bit of a quad ride, just trying to get away from the crowds. There are definitely a few people out here that we think are shed hunting, which is cool. It's the weekend, so it's to be expected. But if we get back in there deep enough, I think we could find a few more. Let's go find out. ready to get started out here little late start 12 18 is that Arizona time yeah it's got to be yeah so we have about six seven hours to hit it hard and we're just studying the onyx map luckily all of us save this for offline use just to our east there's some ridges that kind of bail off of here and then some really nice grassy slopes and that's what's nice about the I like to use the hybrid setting on onyx you can see the contour of the land and you can see like the satellite imagery or you can go just the what do they call this topo topo so i like to do a little bit of both you get to see the south slopes i'm going to focus on the south slopes i don't know about these guys but i'm going to the grassy good feed areas but there's already elk tracks right here on the trail they've kind of been right in the road what do you think we're gonna do do good let's do this it's gonna be fun guys let's go <laughs> 
These things, guys, are my best friend. I should probably just do what I do best, sit down and glass, because I just glassed a brown, and it looks like a good five point, if I had to guess. It's a right side. Just, I see a royal and a main beam, and that's it. Maybe a touch of the third, but that thing would not be easy to stumble on. And uh, Martin literally just walked right above it. Martin was saying there's tons of tracks on his side, so there's definitely more to be found. I'm gonna guide either Martin or John in and uh, have them scoop that. Well, I'm just gonna pick this apart with the binos because for me it's proven to be literally the most effective way. It's brown, it's a right side, and uh, it's right across the draw. Let's see if I can show you guys on the camera. All right, I know this is gonna get blurry, but just to show you where it's at, I'm already at four times optical zoom. I know that's all distorted, but dead center right there is the brown. And John is over the hill. He's going to go pick it up for me. Oh, there it is. You get Eric up there? Yeah, what the heck? That is a good spot by Eric, who is way up there. Uh, that is awesome. Still tracks and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of fresh sign on this ridge line. Hey, you watch me pick up your horn? Yeah, pick it up. <laughs> oh, dude, it is oh, fresh. Wow. Look at how fresh that sucker is. Dang. <laughs> dude, it is like red, red fresh. That's fresh. cool. Good start. I mean, we're heck half hour in. Already got one. Nice. Heck yeah. Here it is, huh? Holy cow, that base is bloody red. Woo! Jeez, dude, that's fresh. Holy. I don't know if I've ever found an elk shed like fresh and wet like that. Yeah, no, it's bloody, bloody. How did I glass that? <laughs> oh. This little guy. Dude, that is awesome. Whew. Dude, that Bonky. definitely has a smell. We've been finding some fresh ones that stink, huh? That's foul. Nice. Big old base on it. That's sweet. That's sweet. Heavy horn. Got a, it's got a cool little hole right there, but big old base, big old brownie. That's sweet. All right, been working this slope, even though part of me wanted to bomb off it. There's just too much sign to not give it a couple zigzags. And I was just telling the guys on the radio, I really want to find a hard white. A hard white would let me know that we're in some good country where they've wintered before and where maybe it hasn't been hit so hard and I just found one. Woohoo! Yes, sir. All right. And it's last year's. That's exactly what I was hoping for. A solid white, still in great condition. Ah oh, man, that's almost as good, if not some in some way a little better than a brown. What else is up here? Yes, it is last year's for sure. Look how brown that still is. Oh my gosh, that feels good. John just found a nice one, a, a nice brown, he said, a good six point. And I just picked that up right after him. Not a really big bull, none of them are yet, but I'll tell you what, like I said, that gets me pumped up to find a hard white. Man, I hope John finds the match to the one he just picked up. We need to get Martin on the board on this hike too. Let's go. <laughs> we knew it was gonna be a good day. 
We're gonna make it even better. Keep finding more. Well, here's my first find of the day. A heavy, super old jockey coos shed. <laughs> Up on this spine, I just hit my first fresh elk tracks. I crossed the big canyon and I'm going up the ridge that we've been glassing and I'm going to try to hit the back side of it. And this is kind of what it's looking like so far. So one of my favorite tools on the Onyx map app is uh, your tracks. That's how I zigzag and when I find areas like this I'll just turn the track on and, and zigzag. That way if I find one or if I want to zigzag for a match or even show Martin like where I've hit, uh, I can share the track, text the track, hard to show them obviously, but one of my favorite tools on the app for sure. Oh, they've been all over right here. We're going to pick up a brown pretty soon. Well, I've been pretty shocked that I haven't been able to glass up a shed on the canyon across from me. It just looks too good to be true. And I've glassed it over half a dozen times, probably more like eight or nine times. And finally, put the glass on it once again through this little gap right here. And there's a big old left side white six point. Now, it is a long, long ways away. And I kept thinking, if you're glassing over there, are you going to go get a shed? Probably the best one of the day. You just never know how old they are when you glass them up. I'm going for it. Guess the whole idea of glassing sheds or going shed hunting is to pick up the sheds you find. So I am bombing down and let me show you some of this mess I'm dealing with. That shed is on the other side. Maybe the other side just laying right on the other side of the bush. It's only one way to find out. <laughs> Last thing I thought I'd find in the freaking bottom in the creek. Look at that, a brown. No way. Why down here? And where are all the tracks? Just a little guy, but a brown. Dang. I, I just blown away like, these antlers can be anywhere, north slope, south slopes, any slope. The tracks are kind of hard to say how fresh they are with all the rain we've got. So really you just gotta be, you gotta be ready for anything, anytime. We made it to the other side. I just glassed that antler again. And uh, like I said, it's gonna be the biggest shed of the day for me. It's right up this way. Got me. Oh good, it's in good shape. Nice, just a solid white. Last year's, sure has a similar frame. Oh, oh. what? What is that? It's an elk shadow, right? No left, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, like I said, guys, you never know when the other side just laying on the other side of the bush. That paid off. Oh, I can finally rest, the right side left side might be older than one year but they're still in good shape this one's chewed on a bit but we got a set oh, thank goodness well they're nothing too special so pick them up look how bad the rodents have chewed on that point the burr is still nice stubby little bull dang too bad that one got so chewed look at that they've been working on that recently one burr that's been soaking in the water, one that's dried up. Cool. Bonus. Glass one shed, got three already, and wouldn't doubt it if we get more on the way out. <laughs> oh my gosh. These dang things, I promise you, if you're patient, they'll pay for themselves in one shed season. Easy. Just glassed another white. This one is the biggest one of the day. <laughs> I don't even know. It's like on the other side. I'm just gonna bounce back and forth, side to side, get a shed, glass, go get it, glass, and hey, it's effective and it's working, but this thing is way across the canyon now over there. My plan, get snacks, get water, 
keep glassing and eventually make my way to that one because it's my biggest shed of the day anyways. The day is almost over and uh, I have my first shed, elk antler. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's a brown laying tines down. I was just telling myself, you're gonna find one, just keep your head up. And there it is. Really, it. Uh, I've never hiked this much in like really good elk sign and not found an elk shed before. So it was really, <laughs> really starting to concern me that I could be in this much elk sign and have not found at least a white or something. This guy just looks small, but it is a fresh brown elk shed right there. Just a little four point or five, one, two, three, four, five point. <laughs> just a small guy five point but we'll take it and we're still in some good country right in here looks pretty good and then above me well I just picked this boy up came around the trail it looks like maybe a hard white but this is a raghorn as well no size to him and right here he got chewed up on the back side. Just another small bull. But that's two antlers within 20 yards. So maybe my luck is changing. Well, no size, but antlers are antlers. Looks like this might be the match. Just up the ridge from the one I just found. Looks like it is. Chewed off at the back end there too. But... At this point, these are good finds because I haven't found anything else today, so we will take them off the mountain. Eric's doing a lot better than me. John, he's, I think he's only found one, but um, it's a nice brown. So, like I said, we're still gonna side hill this. We got about an hour and a half of light left, and I think I could get lucky and find another set. There was more sign this way that I'm going. Man, going from two to five makes a big difference, especially going up this mess. Just gonna side hill, ditch the pack, and go get that other one. Back across the creek, going back on the side I just came from. <laughs> ah, let's go. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Right through there. Looks like a good one. That's the caliber we're looking for. Is it new or is it old? It's fairly new. All right. Yes. Right in that rock slide. Whoo. Yes. I don't think it's last year's now that I look at it. Yeah, it's not last year. Oh, baby. What a sweet bull shed right in the dang rock slide by far the best shed of the day and the biggest burr easily yeah this thing's got to be two years old it's under the rock could be three years old honestly but it's definitely not last year's it's still dense and solid though so it's not cracked out real deep it's just kind of turned gray and a little pink on that side now we have a heck of a pack out. Nothing that we haven't done already a couple times. Just wish we could find a match to it. You gotta be kidding me guys. I just threw this backpack on, turned around with my eyeballs. I'm pretty sure just found the other side to the big one. It's not far from where it was and it was straight down the trail that I was gonna take. <sighs> I'm tired. That was 30 minutes there and back. What do I do? Running out of time. Maybe I could just I could run and get it 30 minutes again there and back. Gosh dang, I probably should go get it. This is good problems to have. Well, here I am on the 
slope that we've all been glassing all day. And uh, oh, not bad, he's chalky. But there's a six point. This slope is steep and so thick. If you don't have one laying right in the wide open, you're not gonna see it. Especially with binos, we don't have our scopes. I'll have to just take the best line I have. And uh, work with that. That's a chalker for sure. If I had to find more antlers, I probably wouldn't even take it. But for now, it is a keeper. Dang, I tell you what. These elk antlers, or these elk, definitely don't want to let their antlers be found easy. <laughs> Check this one out. Oh, another old one chewed up too. It wouldn't have been too bad. Look at that. They got in there, ate his burr, almost his G1 off. That little point's almost chewed off. Tucked up under this branch on this steep oak hillside. I think the quads are right up over that top. I'll definitely take it, but another, another oldie. <sighs> look at that, just hanging by a, look how dark he stayed on the back side, then he goes to pink. On this one side, that G2, it's just hanging on for dear life back there. Same with that G1. That's too bad, pretty cool. Cool antler if it wasn't chewed up. Well, it only took me 13 minutes to get to it. Had to do a couple circles to find it though. There it is, right in this rocky mess. Oh boy, quads a long ways away. There's not a lot of miles between us on this hike, it's just a lot of up and down. But uh, glad we got the match. It's like identical to the other side, so that's cool. Back again. Things older than I thought. I would have not gone to get it if I knew it was that bad. Can't complain though. This is what I sign up for when I do this. I'm always looking for rugged terrain where I can possibly load up whites and browns and we got them both. Hey, how you doing? Sorry to bug you. Just trying to get back to the quad. We got a nice coos doe and her farm. They do not seem to give a dang either. Mom's letting the fawn get away. See ya. <laughs> sun is down. Still a little light left, but sun is definitely down. And I'm not, not where I need to be. So I called Martin and John. They're gonna come down. <clears throat> Maybe we can split this so it's easier. Thank goodness for good buddies. We got back up. Yo, yo. Dude. Heck yeah, son. <laughs> you had this thing the whole time, huh? Yeah. Dude, the worst. Yeah, I had all that from the lowest part of my hike. Screw that. <laughs> We're going to survive, though. Dude. Look at this. What? Oh, yeah. I would have liked to find the match to your brown. <laughs> Dang. Whose brown is this left one? It's a hard white. Oh yeah, it's a hard white. A left one? Where'd you find that? Huh. We'll have to look at them all. There's... There could be some matches. <laughs> Possibly. The one hard white I have is decent too. Just a straight yeah, six. Son. Nice work, man. Let's do it again tomorrow. Yeah, man. Time to change? Yeah. Do these things were brand new like what four days ago? This is the Nevada's all leather. Let's see. So I went with the all leather for shed season because uh, 
they can handle the wear and tear. But yeah, so far so good. No way, look at this though. What? You got burgers? Dude, John's doing it right. He's got a grill going. We've got a fire going. I have all the right clothes to stay warm tonight instead of yesterday, but man, we had a blast today. We really didn't have a full day just because like you saw earlier, it took us so long to get, get up here and get set up, but great video. I had a blast. These guys had fun. We worked for it and I think we have a good game plan for tomorrow. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Again, if you guys want to get in on our merch, get hushin.com and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow next shed tour series you guys we're gonna stack them up i promise make sure you guys come back mm -hmm.